September 1st, 1939, Germany invaded Poland. This was the start of the Nazi Blitz in Europe. It engulfed the world in a war that caused great social and political turmoil. What follows is an accounting of evidence recently uncovered about the secret war the Allies fought against the German Reich and Japanese Empire during World War II. By May of 1940, the Allied leaders of Great Britain and the United States had witnessed the awesome power of Germany's resurrected war machine. They were shocked by the deadly efficiency of Germany's air force, the Luftwaffe. Except for England, all of Western Europe had fallen in quick succession to the enemy blitzkrieg. Undermanned and under-equipped, the Allies moved quickly to slow the Nazi military juggernaut. For this task, Prime Minister Winston Churchill authorized the creation of a secret organization called the SOE, the Special Operations Executive. Its mission was to undermine the German war effort and, in Churchill's words, to set Europe ablaze. To accomplish their difficult task, the SOE created a unique fighter squadron dubbed the Battle Hawks. Its mandate was to search out and destroy the terrifying secret weapons of the Luftwaffe. Pilots from war-ravaged Europe and even the United States came to England to volunteer their services. It was from this broad spectrum of aviators that the Battle Hawks would find its strength. In the coming years, the skill, dedication, and courage of these brave pilots would be tested to the fullest. This is their story. This is not an American fighter. That was my first thought when I sat into the low seat of this British crate they call the Hurricane. All I've heard about this plane is true as far as speed and performance go, but its wings are made of fabric as opposed to good old American metal. It takes some getting used to. I've been paired up with a pilot named Trevor. He likes to train all the new guys in the unit, but he seems like sort of a stiff-ass Brit to me. I just want to prove myself and get out there where I can make a difference. I'm scheduled for maneuvers with Trevor in just a moment. He's going to run me through basic flight and weapons training. Let's see if my aircraft holds up to how I fly. The only aircraft we have for you is the Hurricane. When new planes become available, you'll find them here in the hangar. My name's Trevor, and you may call me Trevor. It's formal and correct. One of those lax as you yanks across the pond. Let me have a look at my card here. Ah, oh, yes. James Chase. That would be you. Here's what's happening today. The barrage balloons the army chaps sent up over Dunkirk have drifted over our airfield. They're a pesky nuisance, so we must remove them before our planes can land. I'll take out the first one. up to gain speed and then bring the nose up so we can reach the altitude of the barrage balloons. Moving your stick left or right will turn you in that direction. When a target is within effective range of guns, a red lead indicator appears. Fire at this target. Now I know you can find the trigger. Destroy the other balloon. Aim fashion. You can keep an eye on your target by using the target lock view. That way you can more effectively turn to attack it. 
bar that shows the damage level of your target. You should also notice you have a display for your plane's health. This is a damage level indicator that displays your own plane's state of disrepair. Good. All barrage balloons have been disposed of properly. Not too bad, but it doesn't say much about your skill. They are, after all, balloons. Here's a word or two on landing. First thing, you need to lower your flaps and gear. That's good. I can see your gear and flaps down. This tells the ground crew you're ready to land. There are two ways, two ways to land your aircraft. The first is automatic landing. The ground crew puts up a marker over the airfield, and all you have to do is fly through it. The second is manual landing. While decreasing your speed, descend to the runway. Now, gently touch your plane down. Mr. Chase, we have more Stuckers making a surprise visit. Kindly dispose of them before you think of landing. Let's bring them down, Chase. Well, the Hurricane is a fine bird. I didn't think it could compare to American engineering, but I like the feel of it. Trevor says if I'm ready, he has a little cleanup assignment for me. I get the feeling he thinks I'm still too green. Who knows? Maybe it was the phrase, I think a Yank can handle this one, that tipped me off. Apparently, there are some dangerous crates and barrels that need destroying, but target practice in this lady should be a pleasure. Good show. You've received your first field upgrade requisition. All right. What upgrade do you want me to make to which aircraft?
set up some bomb targets at the ammo dump for you to practice on. To effectively hit these targets, you'll want to use the bomb target reticule, which shows where your bombs will impact. This reticule is projected on the ground in front of you and fluctuates in size based on your plane's maneuvering and angle of attack. Your bomb will hit somewhere within the circle of the bomb site. If you point the nose of your plane down toward the target, the bomb reticule will shrink in size. This indicates your bomb drop will be more precise. Realize that a direct hit with a bomb may not be necessary. Bombs do area damage. The bigger the bomb, the more damage it does, and the bigger the area it does damage to. Now, destroy all ammo dumps. The bomb target rescue can be viewed best by switching to the bombing camera. This is of course most effective when bombing large targets such as buildings or ships. Either way, when you put the target lined up using the method you're most comfortable with, release the bomb to send it flying. Another useful camera is the Holton camera. Continued holding down of the secondary fire button switches the camera to follow your projectile. You have a set of controls in your cockpit with you as well. Using them can help you see a distant target a bit better. When trying to get an idea of distance, drawing a bead, or trying to identify the type of target, this ability to zoom in is quite useful. Keeping a close eye on the position of the target in your range of view is important. Equipped on your craft is a gun camera that allows you to replay footage of what you did in the last 15 seconds. Use it any time during combat. It is particularly helpful for checking the success of recent bombing runs. Another camera available to you is reverse view. This camera allows you to look behind you very quickly. Since you're a capable fighter pilot, you have available reflex time. You can slow time down, giving a better opportunity to shoot. This can be especially useful when you need to travel to a spot or there is a lull in the action. Take this time to land so you'll have a full complement of bombs for the coming assignment. Remember that while you might be tempted to stray for German tank column with your machine guns, it won't do much good. Any armored vehicles, whether they're ships, U-boats or tanks, will require the use of heavy explosives to destroy them. Bombs to the layperson. Now, let's try something a little harder. Over the bridge are some German recon cars I was planning on destroying. But since I need to see how you can handle the moving targets, I'll give this task to you. Destroy those cars. Acquiring the next enemy ground target is done by quickly tapping the ground target button. Those anti-aircraft guns could pose a big problem. You can destroy them with your guns and then finish off the reconnaissance cars. The targeting system also allows you to target the closest enemy ground unit. Chase, it seems that you stumbled into a hornet's nest. Destroy that tank column with your bombs. Watch yourself. 
Trevor likes to push buttons, just like my dad. But I get the feeling he does it in a friendly, let's see what you're made of kind of way. You'd almost think he was an American flyer with the amount of grief he gives me. The Germans have been getting increasingly curious about what's going on in the skies above Dunkirk. Trevor ordered me to engage any German planes that I encounter on patrol. He's assigned me to lead a veteran out on this sortie. Something about if the American is to command others, he must learn restraint. I take it back. Trevor's not good enough to be an American flyer. Far too English. The only aircraft we have for you is the Hurricane. When new planes become available, you'll find them here in the hangar.
Copy. Moving to intercept your target. Once the selected target is destroyed, your wingmen will return to your side for further orders. There goes the second balloon. The Defend Me command tells your wingmen to attack enemy planes that are attacking you. Your wingmen will continue to attack as long as there are enemies attacking you. Now issue the Defend Me order to your wingman. Covering your six. Excellent. Now that you've had a chance to practice, it's time to see how you apply them in a real patrol. Sweep the area here with Dadigan, while I patrol the area across the river from Dunkirk. Remember, you're not alone. This is a team effort, so use your wingman if you get into any serious trouble. Enemy sighted. Inbound Ju-87 Stuka dive bombers. Be careful of their rear guns, Chase. Chase, requesting permission to engage. Another group of enemy sighted, sir. Perhaps we should split up? Roger that, sir. Britische Jäger im Anflug! Wir brauchen Unterstützung! May 26, 1940. I'm finally in Europe with the Royal Air Force. 
right in the thick of things. There's quite a motley collection of pilots from all over, eager to fight the Luftwaffe. One pilot in particular stands out from the rest. He's a Brit named Trevor. I hope to learn a lot from him if I can get past his upper-class smugness. Across the Channel in France, though, things are going very badly. German forces have surrounded the Brits at Dunkirk and threatened to capture the lot of them. To avoid this disaster, the entire British force must be evacuated. Ships from all over England have been assembled to bring the troops home. Our squadron is going into action today to keep the Luftwaffe away from the evacuation ships. German ground forces are also on the move, tightening the noose. We'll have our hands full, as time is in short supply. Shut down! We 
Most certainly give them a thrashing today, but it's not over yet. I don't expect them to give up quite so easily. We'd better land at the airfield and rearm. It would appear we have a moment for introduction. My name is Cedric. I'm grateful for your assistance in these desperate times. Weiter vorrücken! Wir müssen die Brücke nehmen! Scouts report large groups of Panzers converging on each of the three bridges into Dunkirk. Take out the bridges before the German forces cross. The ground crews have loaded your planes with 250 pound bombs. They should neutralize tanks if you're accurate. All right, I'll take the south bridge. Chase, on the east or west bridge. Land at the airfield anytime to have my crew rearm your aircraft. Yes, but that will take precious time. So don't let your crush be the boy. Achtung, Achtung! Wir brauchen Schussunterstützung! A group of Stukas is heading toward the east defensive line. Panzer Colonne, bereit zum Angriff auf die britischen Bogengruppe. Für die Heimat! Marksmanship chase. One bridge down, two to go. More German reconnaissance cars approaching from the west. If you can manage it, straight those cars and give the crowd some ventilation. But don't let them divert you from stopping the Panzers. German recon cars are heading towards Dunkirk. Then scratch the south bridge. I'm headed for the west bridge. Rücke sich an! Nicht wie rüber! Schnell! One more bridge. Hurry, Chase. We don't have much time. Schieß auf die Flugzeuge! Ich zerstöre die Brücken! Auf der letzten Brücke sammeln und rüber! Schnell! Coming in! The heading will take them over the west defensive line! An Alabama! Schütten Sie unsere Panzer! Zerstören Sie die Stellungen der Tamis! Vorsicht vor den britischen Jägern! Take the ship down! Weiter Feuer! Okay, use bombs to destroy those tanks. Vorsicht vor den britischen Jägern! Take the ship down! Weiter Feuer!
Hold that thought. There are more 109s inbound. I count four of them. Chase, I know these chaps. They're from a special squadron of veteran pilots. They won't be as easy as the last bunch. You may fight well against inexperienced pilots. You don't stand a chance against the best in the Luftwaffe. But that be you. We've been waiting for a good fight all day. What kept you? British courage. You get you killed. Jaeger, another nemesis machine. Attacker! Glück gehabt. Both of you, delaying the Germans allowed our forces to escape. 